are here at Grassland, Oregon, Go Seed, and looking at the experiment that we have here that we lovingly refer to as tubes in the ground. Uh, we have set up a lot of different uh, soil settings and cover crops, and um, today we're just going to pull some tubes up and look at what the roots are. This first one that I'm going to grab, um, this is one of the ones in a low pH setting that has annual ryegrass that has not been inoculated with anything. Woo! <laughs> look at those roots. You can see all of that. We'll clean these up a little bit here, but you can see some really, really nice network of fibrous roots going all the way, way down. You can see them all the way down here at the bottom. We are going to pull another one of the tubes here. This is annual ryegrass that has been inoculated with our muscular mycorrhizal fungi. It's a little stuck on the bottom, but I can do this. Here we go. Look at those roots all the way down. All right, again, we see them going all the way down. Okay, so we have a number of different soil settings here. That means we created soil settings to mimic things that might be problems in a production field. The one that we're looking at here is a soil setting with areas of high bulk density. The mineral particles have been smushed together through compaction. So there's a high mass of soil in each particular volume. And what we're hoping is that we might be able to find cover crops that can punch down through that bulk density to help alleviate some of these problems that producers experience. And so what we have here is fixation balanza clover planted into a soil setting with high bulk density, and we're gonna see if the roots have made it through. After we terminate the cover crops, we're going to plant corn into them. And what we're, what we, are going to inspect is whether or not those corn roots are then also able to make it through this root restrictive layer. The more soil volume that a plant has to explore, the more they're able to acquire nutrients and water. So if the roots just stay in the top 10 inches of the soil, they don't have very much volume to explore to get water and nutrients. But if they're able to go down deeper into the soil, they then have the ability to get nutrients from deeper, there's less nutrient loss, um, the plants are healthier, more rigorous, they're more prone to um, withstand a slight drought or flood um, or a windstorm, anything like that. So we always want to get deep roots and what we might hope is that using a cover crop the roots could punch through that root restrictive high bulk density layer and that might allow for the subsequent crop to do the same.